plaintiffs, Regina Atkins and her friend Kiana Allen, say Kiana and the defendant were good friends. So much so that she was in Kiana's wedding. Kiana claimed she planned a trip to Jamaica for her 30th birthday, and both defendants agreed to go. But after Regina charged the trip on her credit card, the defendants failed to pay. So they're suing. Defendants Andrea Kimball and her friend Zaysha Green admit that Andrea was friends with Kiana. But a week ago, she found out that Kiana slept with her ex-boyfriend. Andrea claims after she and Zaysha agreed to go on the trip, the details of the trip changed. And the plaintiffs bought the tickets without telling them about the changes. So they refused to pay. Start with you all. Um, so I've known the defendant for over 20 years. Uh, we grew up in church together. She's in my wedding. I was supposed to be the... Which guy. defendant? Uh, Andrea Kimball. Okay. Um, that is Zaysha, that's her best friend. So, um, so we've just known each other all our life. We just grew up together. Uh, she has a great spirit. She's very outgoing. She loves to have fun, which is why I love to hang out with her uh, because I like to have fun too. So we've always had lots of fun having fun together. <laughs> um, there have been several times where we would go out. There was one incident we went out and we were having some drinks and things got crazy and she saw this guy and she ended up calling him a ginger and then we had to like haul out of there because it got too much to handle. I just heard what that means and I can't remember already. What's it mean? That's what get for trying to be old and young at the same right. time. <laughs> and find out what the young stuff means, but then you're too old to remember. Yeah. <laughs> so, redhead. Uh, redhead. Redhead. Ginger. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I know what Becky is. Oh. Is oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what that is? We don't, that's, don't that's tell a white woman. <laughs> no kill. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> huh? Isn't that what Becky is? That is. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Just, you know, because... Like Beyonce said in the song, you know, something about Becky and she was... <laughs> Becky with the good. Becky with yeah, the good. Becky with the good hair. <laughs> I don't know about that good hair part. See, he knows the song. Uh, but uh, I know what the Becky means. Oh. Um, she was accusing in that song someone of uh, dating a uh, white woman behind her back. Oh, okay. And um, so she hollered at a guy in that club and what you do? I tried to get, we, we ran out of there because it, it got crazy. But she always feel bad. She felt bad afterwards. She's, like I said, she's a great person. I love hanging out with her. Good. Let me hear from you, ma'am. You want to give me some background? Absolutely. Everything that she said is, is correct. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'd like to um, portray her as also this great person, but um, recently I found out that she's, she's not as good of a friend that I thought that she was. Um, How so? Uh, well, I recently found out that about two years ago she slept with my ex. So that has been kind of uh, an overwhelming revelation. How long ago did you find out? Last week. Last week? Yes. How did you find out last week? My ex told me. I, he knew that I was being sued by the plaintiff and he wanted to make sure that I knew that in case it came out today. You want to respond? That yeah, ain't true. Okay. <laughs> I will, I will say that um, I didn't bring it with me because I didn't have a chance to print it out, but I have text uh, screenshots of text message conversations between the two of them where she did come on to him and invited him over to her house. So that is uh, one thing. But let me, let me tell you how, where my loyalty lies. Mm -hmm. Her ex came on to me and I, I did not uh, follow through. Where y'all meet these men at the club? <sighs> I, I met my ex at the library. <laughs> yeah, right. That is absolutely. Who you what you mean to us? I don't even know who she's talking about. I don't mean, you I have a boyfriend? Or I didn't have you boyfriend. have one? Well, I did have what one. What did you A Target? Target. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all better go to the club, dude. <laughs> I was going to criticize meeting men at the club <laughs> who are drunk and on the hunt. Please don't let the church let you down. All right. So, why are you suing your friend? Uh, back in January, I decided to plan a trip for my 30th birthday to Jamaica. I had sent some ladies and I have some evidence. I sent the two defendants an email addressing like the trip, how much the tri trip would cost. Do Let's I see it, see? please. Um, how much the trip would cost, uh, the price breakdown of the trip. I estimated it to be about $1,000. So in the email, it breaks down like when exactly the uh, monthly payments would be. And both of the defendants agreed. Um, my friend Regina. Um, she had a credit card limit that would be enough to book all of our plane tickets. So she put it on her credit card. Um, and the statement that you have is when the plane tickets were booked because they agreed. We all agreed. 
we're going to go to Jamaica and have some fun. Mm -hmm. And we booked them. So what happened to cause you to sue? So in February, when the first payments, uh, in the email I told them the first payment would be due February 25th, um, the defendants were supposed to give me the $250. We all were going to meet and talk about the logistics of the trip. Uh, at the meeting, I explained to them that I told them that the trip would be about $1,000. The trip actually increased to $1,157 because uh, I you added- tell them that? At the, the time of the meeting, yes. time you knew about it, did you tell them? No. How long did it take for you to tell them? Well, I booked them on February 19th, mm -hmm. so the next week I told them. Okay, next week. And what did they say? Um, so the defendant, Andrea, I talked to Zaysha, she agreed. Uh, the defendant, Andrea, she said that the extra $157 was not feasible, um, that she just could not do it. So I did send her a text, like after we met and I explained it, I did send her a text and it's right here. I told her that I would change her room and pay for her bus fare so that she agreed to the thousand Let's so that she it, could please. stick to the $1,000 agreement. What did she say to that? She continued Ma'am, let me hear from you. Yes, sir. So everything, um, well, most of what she said is true. We uh, originally agreed that we would be taking a trip five nights in Jamaica for $1,000. And she gathered all her information. She booked um, this flight. And then by the time that she uh, gave us all the information, the details had changed. We weren't going to be spending five nights in Jamaica. There was going to be an overnight layover in North Carolina. So that would be, you know, on top of the base amounts of close to $1,200, there would be whatever we had to spend in North Carolina. So I said, you know, you booked this prior to giving us this information, and that's not the trip that I agreed to, so we backed out. Because of the overnight stay? Because of the, the all of the details were changed. So there was, it wasn't gonna be five nights in Jamaica. It was gonna be like three or four nights in Jamaica. And it because was- Because of the overnight stay or it yes. was just shortened period? It was, yes, because of the overnight stay, it was- All right, and you found that out later? Yes, we found that out on the 25th. And I found that out on the 25th. And you complained to her about it? Yes, absolutely, immediately. And what did she say when you complained to her about um, it? I have text messages between um, us all. I told her that, you know, first of all, when she explained it to us, it was a group of us, and I was not in a financial situation to be able to go on this trip with the changes. So I felt like- With what changes? With the changes in the price, um, whatever else we were gonna to have to spend in North Carolina. Um, so I felt like, I felt embarrassed that I'm explaining my financial situation to not only her, but this You're other group of women. Embarrassed that you had to pay the additional 150 yeah. or that you couldn't. Well, that I couldn't, Got that, it. I, that I had to explain All right. my financial situation. So it was situation. both the money and the uh, reduction in days? Absolutely. Since you weren't gonna be able to stay as long as you thought? Absolutely. You said, I'm not going at all? Absolutely. All right, she has some communications and you have some responses. And uh, anywhere in these communications, did she discuss the overnight as one of the reasons? Nope. Do didn't. you have any communications where you discussed the overnight stay was one of the reasons you no longer wanted to go? Absolutely. Okay. I'm grateful for just And that. obviously these tickets were non-refundable? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, let's see what you have because you just doubled down on there, me. Somewhere. You said uh, it was I'm the sorry. overnight stay and the fact can, that it was three or four days and then you uh, threw in the $150, but I'll take a look at your communications and we're not gonna sit here all night. I just saw you hand Doyle a page and I guess he handed it back to you because he can read well. <laughs> so I hope this says North Carolina. You know, people hand us a stack. Yeah, it's somewhere you in think there. Them. Okay, you read to me. There you go, he handed me that stack. Now you're flipping pages. Is that what you wanted me to do from up here? Just flip no, pages? No, I, I was going. Because you handed me 10 pages, you don't even know where it's at. You're flipping and flipping and flipping, indicating that you're doing what many people do. They hand me a stack, and they think that I'm not gonna read through it, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna BS the judge. I'm gonna deceive the judge and say I have something that I really don't because I know he ain't gonna have time to go through the whole 10. So you know what I do? I hand it to you. You go through the 10, you find it. You know where it's at. I it's your evidence. It. <laughs> Absolutely. How much time we gone? We don't have a whole lot I of time. You, we don't, no, you put your hand down and okay. help her. She go through the, <laughs> now, she, now she's on her, now she's on her 20th page. <laughs> She's on her 20th page now, and you got another 30 to go in another pile. 
Well, I'll just read what she gave me. She says, I will change your room and pay for your bus. That will get you to $1,000, meaning she would pay and you would stick to the $1,000 amount. That's what she said. Now, you showed me something about North Carolina. Take all the time you need. No, matter of fact, don't. <laughs> Tell me that. You finally found it among the 30 pages? No, sir. You're right. That's how I know you're lying. Judge me for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs> It wasn't anything harsh. I just, we had a, a payment to make paid and we felt like we owed the money. So that was it. Man, I don't, I don't got to say.